I'm Hannah Binns, a news and business reporter at The Farmer's Guardian. I'm also working here on the family farm here in Downham, Lancashire, and I'm 24 years old. I went to Boland High School. After that, I went to Nelson and Cone College. I wanted to go to the University of Leeds to study history. However, I did really badly in my A-levels. I didn't meet my predicted grades. I struggled really badly with mental health. So I missed the course that I wanted to do at university. I ended up going to the University of Leeds anyway, but I studied a different course through clearing. So I did ancient history and English literature, and I loved it. At university, I started up a blog. So it was kind of meeting people drunkenly at 3 a.m. in the morning outside a burger van, you know, discussing where the meat from their burger had come from. And I kind of found out that people are a bit clueless. They just presume it came from a supermarket shelf. So that kind of inspired me to start a blog. That kind of took off, and that's kind of what really kick-started my interest in writing. So I got a place on the British Guild of Agricultural Journalists John Deere training course, learning the ropes on how to be a reporter, interview styles, different writing techniques. I then also had a week's experience down at Farmers Weekly. Prior to this, I'd already done a week's work experience at the Farmers Guardian. So I just kind of kept blogging. Now and then I'd have a story published in Farmers Guardian, and that's kind of how I kind of got into being a journalist. The typical day as a news and business reporter for Farmers Guardian is I'll switch on my laptop, I'll look to see what emails have come in overnight. If I've been working on a story the day before, I'll carry on with that story and chase some leads on that. I'll get my headline, I'll get my first line, and yeah, I'll start typing. And then before you know it, the story is kind of written. When I'm not at my desk writing, I'm often out and about in my wellies on the farm. Main times of year that'll be lambing time, so I always take a week off work to come and help during our busiest week in lambing, as well as go down every evening after work to the lambing sheds and help my mum and dad and the team. Moss is my sheepdog, he's my first ever dog. Me and Moss are our own little team, moving sheep left, right, and centre. This place has been home for a long, long time, and I think that's what kind of draws me to the landscape because it is just so homely. It is where I've brought up and I've had memories in most of these fields and that for me is just great and it would make it very difficult to leave here. I am aware very much of the landscape's history and the Pendle Witches. Some of my friends seem to reckon that my house is haunted. It has been here since around the 1500s, 1600s and seen many tenants over the years. However, nothing supernatural has happened to me yet. I hope the witches aren't going to come for me for saying that. <laughs> I'll have to see on Halloween. For anyone interested in getting involved in journalism, I'd recommend getting as much writing experience as possible, freelance or unpaid. It's all about kind of getting your name in print and kind of being able to prove that you can write stories to a brief, to a word limit. There's plenty of courses available out there. For those interested in agricultural journalism, there's the British Guild of Agricultural Journalists. So yeah, basically get as much experience as possible. See if you can get into a paper if you're interested in paper journalism or whatever medium you're interested in being a journalist with. Find what ignites you and makes you happy and makes you want to find out more and write about it. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Very polished.